some commitments. I, I mentioned the class of 2026 QBs, if their, their dominoes have started to fall. Uh, but also the attack on USC's 2025 recruiting class. That has been one of the more interesting subplots. And remember, we had Steve Wiltfong on a couple of weeks ago, and he said, watch this because this is going to get very interesting. And this is after Isaiah Gibson had visited Georgia. Isaiah Gibson is a very good defensive end from Georgia. Now, it, it's interesting that these three guys are all from the state of Georgia that I'm going to mention. So Isaiah Gibson decommitted last week. Our recruiting prediction machine, pretty confident he's going he's gonna to wind up at Georgia. Also, Justice Terry, a defensive lineman from Manchester, Georgia, who was a, a part of that recruiting class, at USC, he's the number seven overall recruit in the, the on three industry rankings. He decommitted. He visited Alabama last week. Now, our RPM, very confident that he will also wind up at Georgia. The other one is a guy we've talked about quite a bit, and he's been committed to USC, but we've talked about him essentially as an uncommitted recruit, and that is Julian Lewis, the quarterback from Carrollton, Georgia. He was in Boulder, Colorado this weekend. And for all the fun we make of Deion Sanders for not making the in-home visits and not making the in-school visits, they put on a show when you come to Boulder. <laughs> they put on a show when a recruit comes to Boulder. So Juju Lewis goes to Boulder. He's got a burger named after him. There's a photo of him sitting on a throne in a Colorado uniform as Shador Sanders is handing keys to him. I'm guessing, I, I, for, I think, should, does Shador drive a Lambo? Bentley, he drives something very nice, and he's handing his keys to Shador Sanders. And Juju Lewis tweets this, could it be, quote-unquote, perfect timing? And tags Deion Sanders, Shador Sanders, and Colorado Buffs football. So Juju Lewis still committed to USC, but he's visited Indiana. He's now visited Colorado. Auburn is still in hot pursuit. Uh, but uh, listen, this Boulder visit was some serious stuff here. They, The Sink, legendary burger restaurant in Boulder, named a burger after Juju Lewis, the Juju Lewis Precision Pass Burger. Two patties, cheese, bacon. We're all good here. Red onion, don't need it. A1 aioli, which doesn't make much sense. The aioli is going to cut the A1 to a point where it doesn't taste like A1 anymore. And it's also churched up mayonnaise. So we don't need that either. So Juju, if you if you do commit to Colorado, if you do flip and end up signing with Colorado, go to the sink, tell them, get the aioli off my burger. Get the onions off my burger. We can do better than this. Heinz 57? Maybe some Heinz 57. But that will be a very interesting situation to watch going forward because that USC recruiting class was in, was in the top five. It's now number 11. But we were, we were talking about, hey, they are getting top 100 defensive players to commit to them. And that's what they've needed. Lincoln Riley has not signed players like that at all as a head coach. He has just not been the kind of coach that can get those players in bulk. That's what Kirby Smart does. That's what Ryan Day does. That's what Nick Saban did. That's what Kalen DeBoer is continuing to do at Alabama. That is how you compete for national titles. That's what Dabo Sweeney did to build up Clemson. For all the talk about the receivers and the quarterbacks, their defensive line factory at Clemson has been incredible. And that is the problem. Stevie Davey, the real question, what kind of cheese on the Juju Lewis Precision Passburger, I believe is I believe it's cheddar. I'm good with cheddar over American for sure. Like good melted cheddar. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On3Sports YouTube channel.